Hi guys and welcome back to a little bit of an interesting video, a different video for me. Um, I thought I would film, and you guys probably know this already because you've seen the title, but I'm going to do a customization of my wig that I recently got in. I basically am pretty new to wearing wigs and the last wig that I wore I got so many compliments and so many comments on Instagram that I thought that with this next wig I should actually give you a little bit of a um, tutorial on how I actually customize the wig and make it look realistic as much as you can make a synthetic wig look realistic. going to be customizing today is this wig here it's a pink wig um, you probably would see what it looks like in the end from the intro photo um, the thumbnail so I will open this up have a look and what we're gonna do is put it on our heads well I'm gonna put it on my head um, basically it came in this little bag I'll put a link down below where I actually bought it from. I bought it from Amazon for about $40, $40 Australian dollars. Um, it also has a wig cap in it as well, but it is black. And I find that the nude ones are a little bit better if you want to actually look like your, you know, it's um, like your scalp uh, through the wig. So it comes like this in a little sort of netting bag. So we take this off. And this is the wig. Um, it's, you know, I'm not a specialist in wigs uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but I do find these wigs, even though um, they are synthetic wigs, I've, the only synthetic wigs I've ever come across in the past are like costume wigs that look really bad. Um, and they always look like you're wearing a wig and it never looks like you're not wearing a wig unless you've got like a, you know, blunt fringe where you can cover the hairline. So I find these astounding when they have the lace fronts. You can sort of see there's a lace front here. Um, I just find that it makes the hairline look so much more natural. Um, we are going to have to do a lot of customization with this wig because it is only $40. I mean, come on guys, you know, there's a reason why it costs that. But... You're, you've got really good bones to work with, you know, is basically what I'm saying. So let's just pop this on the head. Um, I'm not even going to bother putting my hair back or anything like that. You know what? Maybe I should. Maybe I should. I'll just whack this on. I actually don't have a mirror. I've only got, like, the little tiny screen. So this is just to show you how it looks. I actually really like, I wish these came in a nude color because it's like a hole um, and I'll show you. So you basically you put this over your head. These are the best um, style, but when they're not nude, it can be problematic when you're wearing wigs. So that's why I go with the other ones that don't have the holes in them. So you do that, put this on the top of your head like a headband and then you just pull this Whoop. And all the hair goes up in there. Well, apart from that little tiny tuft. So, and it just sort of goes up. Even when I had really long hair, that worked. All right, looking good. I'm out of the town. <laughs> Don't gangsters like wear this sort of thing. Um, okay, so let's just take the ears out. This is just, this is just, you know, to see what the wig looks like, let's see what we're working with. So um, this wig has, let's give you a bit of construction behind here. See it's a lace front at the top here. So you can part it sort of anywhere along here. It's not a great deal of parting ability. No, not really. You pr pretty much have to leave it where it is, but that's okay. We can work around that. There's a clip there, clip on the sides two sides and we've got the um, adjustable clip bands on the ends and there's different loops here so you can sort of make it tighter um, I'm gonna make mine a little bit tighter because I always find they're too big and loose oh my god how retarded can you be Naomi come on 
This is why I can't clip my bra at the back. I have to put it at the front and twirl it around. Anyway, I'm just retarded at clipping stuff behind me. Okay, so I'm just going to whack this on my head. Okay. See, I've only just whacked it on my head, okay? It's not even, I mean, it's not customized. You know, this lace is still here on my head. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just checking out the hairline and how much I need to pluck. So this bit here would go right down to there. But I'm actually going to change the parting on this because... Um, I'm, I'm not going to change where it's parted, but I'm going to change where I'm going to put the parting on my head because I think I look better with a side part. Um, so you can sort of see, even with no customization, it's a pretty nice wig. The color is beautiful. It looks quite realistic. This is barely even noticeable, this lace. I mean, I'm not going to walk out of the house like this, obviously, but... Once I cut it back um, and work on the hairline, you can sort of see the hairline there is really full. So we're going to have to pluck like a crazy person um, to make it a little bit more realistic. I'm also going to have to work on the middle part. You can sort of see it looks really dark under there for two reasons. One, because I'm wearing a black um, cap underneath when it should be a nude cap. And two, because I need to pluck more hair out of there and put concealer in there. So. That's what we're going to do. But first, I want to just move this wig over. I'm going to wear it sort of on the side, as on the side as I can. So I think that already looks better. And I'm going to tweak this style slightly when I get the chance. Um, but it's a really hot wig. Woo! And just to give you an idea of the length, it is super long and gorgeous. So, just to show you, okay. So it goes down to there. It is super long and I'm actually going to cut this wig um, because I just think it's a little bit too long for my shape. It's a little bit mermaid. So let's get started and I will um, start doing the plucking and customization and then I can wear this week tomorrow. Exciting! my wig for quite a bit of time now and now I want to just try it on again just to check that I'm going in the right direction but this time I'm going to try it on with my nude cap um, because I'll get a, a better feel on how it actually looks um, in the part and in the sculpt area. Before I put the wig on I'm going to remove this center comb so basically this is the comb that sits right at the front underneath the part the back of the part and the reason is because it adds bulk and i don't want this bulk there i can just use the sides and um, depends on the security i might reattach this at the bottom of the nape of the neck okay parts a little bit low Okay, so you can sort of see there where I'm wearing the cap and where my hairline is. So what I need to do is either move the cap forward or put some um, concealer in that spot. 
let's go into the bathroom and actually see what we've got. I cannot see a thing here. Okay, so we are in the bathroom. So sorry about that, we're echoing. Um, so basically, I can really see what I'm working with now. And what I'm gonna do is, I've turned the light on so it's nice and bright in here, but it's probably really bad lighting. Just gonna brush this out so I can get rid of all of the Okay, so I've got pretty much some baby powder um, and I've got some dry shampoo. I am going to put a little bit just on the top, like so. Just at this front here is where it looks really shiny. And I kind of, you can tell I'm just tapping. I'm not pouring it on. Going to brush the powder kind of through. I can already see that that looks so much better. But a little bit of powder can do. And now that I am happy with where it's sitting, any further back and you'll see my hairline. So I'm going to hold it there, grab the clips on either side and attach them to my head for security. And I'm doing this because um, I do wear, sometimes I wear wigs without gelling them down. Like if I, you know, don't wanna have a big um, gel bonanza on my head at the end of the day, then I do that. Um, now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the bottom of, oh God, these knots. Okay, just because I took out quite a bit of hair, so it's just a little bit knotty. And first, I'm just going to do the blunt choppy cut. So I'm just going to cut it over the sink. And I do cut longer than where I want it to be because I'm gonna be tapering it now that I've done that, it looks like this. Let me sort of tilt you down a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to now cut this side. I'm going to grab smaller pieces, like so, and I put them in my hands like this, fan them out, and then I cut into them like this. So you're cutting upwards. And then I actually go back and do this again. You can also slice. And slicing is a technique where you're cutting downwards like this. And you just setting um, less than half about a third of the way I can actually turn it to about halfway for this so I'm on halfway up for this heat iron for the tops if I'm ever curling the ends I put it really really low sometimes I even turn it off um, and use it that way I haven't really had a lot of success curling the hair without singeing it um, so I don't like to do that anymore. I just pretty much flatten the top and I just leave the curls as they are. Uh, and that's why I'm quite particular when I choose a wig that I like how the curls fall. Um, and if I don't like how they fall, I know I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. So 
we're just going to wait for that to heat up. So while that is heating up, I will take a concealer brush and a bit of concealer. I'm using Thin Lizzy um, because it's quite strong, it's quite heavy, uh, and it's a full coverage concealer. It's the type of concealer that covers tattoos and things like that. And then I want to basically put a little bit of concealer in the part and I just dab it on but I take it all the way back because I find it just makes it blend a bit better mm -hmm. so I've just put a bit of concealer in the part now, if you go outside the lines a bit, don't really worry. You can just sort of rub it out or go in with um, some dark eyeshadow or something and cover it. Okay. I just rub on the sides and it tends to just magically disappear. Now that this is heated up, and make sure it's parted exactly where I want and we're going to press in the part and along the sides like that and this is just going to and the flatter you make this top bit the more realistic this wig is going to look that's what I've noticed out of all the hacks if you can get the top of it and the hairline to look natural so if you can press the top down and basically I'm just pressing don't hold in the one spot for too long because it's just gonna um, singe obviously and you don't want that so so basically I have pressed down the tops of the wig just to make it look a little bit more uh, natural and flatter. And now what I'm going to do lastly, um, I will use gel. Um, I'm still in the middle of getting the got to be gel. It's not available where I live, so I have to order it in. But in the meantime, I have been using this and it's been okay. Um, there are some days where I don't glue my wig down and that's for you know the quick trips to the shops or just doing a couple of little things where I actually don't want to fill up my head full of gel um, and it still looks passable like now I have not gelled anything but if I want to make it look a little bit more realistic but I don't want to do the full gel thing I will just take out a couple of hairs here and gel them down so that's what I'm going to do now I'm just going to basically um, grab this gel what I do is I just pull it back slightly like so receding hairline and then I grab a little bit of gel in my hands I put it on my hairline here and on this side and I basically just frame this top part of my head I do do a full gel version, so if you want to see that, um, just let me know. I have to wash my hands because I can't stand anything being on my fingers. Um, so now that I've gelled, I'm going to put this back like so, and then I'm going to grab the end of this comb and just pull a little bit of hair, and I'm just going to press down on a little bit of hair and this basically gives you it basically connects the wig to your scalp and just basically makes it look a little bit more natural so even on this side you can sort of see a couple of hairs are sticking to my head and See, this is what I'm doing. I'm just getting the comb. And I would normally do a more full-on version of this. 
all the way around my hairline um, when I'm really setting it. Like this is if I'm going to be wearing the wig all day and I do not want it to budge. Um, I don't want it to move and I'm running around and doing things. That's when I would do that. But for this exercise, this is pretty much the end of the day. So I don't want it fully glued down. Basically, you know, if I'm going out just at night for dinner or if I'm um, doing something for work and it's only for a few hours, then I don't really need the wig to be on my head for the whole day. So that's why I sort of have an in-between thing that I do. Just because when once you do the full on gel, it's 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 tough. Like you have to wash it out. It's all over everything. Um, you know, it's hard to sleep in it because it's all crunchy. And so here it is. This is my finished product um, of me customizing my pink wig and pretty much putting it on my head. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you some tips on what to do with your wig. Um, please give me a comment uh, below if you liked this video, if you want to see more of this video and I hope to see you next time slaying your pink wig.